What is going on today guys, Tomcat here, and today we are back in Forza Horizon 3 and we are going to be running the SRT-10, uh, actually ACR Horizon Edition, against the, well, the thing is, the whole plan with this episode is to do American V10 versus Italian, or actually quote-unquote German because it's not actually an Italian V10, but it's okay, it's okay, it's in an Italian car, so we'll call it an Italian V10. Anyways, to run the Viper ACR against, if I can get over there in time, let's see, oh, we passed it, Lamborghini, and we're gonna do, we're gonna do the Super Legera instead of uh, the Huracan because of the fact, like, surely because of the fact that the Huracan is a little bit newer than, say, for example, when the, like, when the Viper was out, when that ACR was out, the Huracan wasn't out yet. But the Gallardo was, and what we're going to do in order to actually, actually kind of even it out, even things out just a little bit, um, we're going to make this a a rear wheel drive variant, like a dash two instead of a dash four, and that's completely and totally like that's completely and totally fine as far as like factory Lamborghini stuff goes. Um, they made rear drive versions, um, but basically, I, I think since the Viper is rear drive, we should run it against the rear drive variant of the Lamborghini. Now, what we're going to do here is these are going to be fully built variants of both cars. Fully built variants on stock engines, so both keeping the V10s, no V12 swaps, which I feel like is kind of a kind of a cornerstone of this whole idea is to make sure that there's no v V12 swap involved because it's a battle of V10s. It's a battle of the Italian V10 versus the American V10 in two already extremely stout supercars. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get all these parts on here and we are good to go. So we are now making 917 horsepower, 627 foot-pounds of torque, weighing in at 2,654 pounds. Now, it's time to go ahead and before we go, before we go out to the track in this car, I do want to do a, one other thing, and it's to make sure that both vehicles have race weight reduction as well as race brakes and race suspension, which they both should. Um, it's like, it's no big deal between both of them, but they both should. They should also have fully built drivetrains just to make sure everything there, there's no slop. There's nothing to uh, be concerned about as far as the drivetrain goes. And we are going to leave, I'm going to say we'll leave the wheels on this car. I'm not, I'm not too, too concerned about the wheel setup. I think the wheel setup on this car actually looks really, really good. It's kind of a touch of modern with a touch of retro. Um, and I think in this package, it's going to look, it's, it's going to look awesome. So we have, now we have to go back and grab the Viper Horizon Edition or the ACR Horizon Edition. And where's it at? Should be right about here. So... This thing, now the Horizon Editions are weird because they come pre-installed with the V12 swaps. Um, I don't know if this one currently has it, but if it does, we're taking it out. Um, if it does, we're taking it out, no questions asked. And no, it has the V10, and I believe this thing is already fully built. It makes just over a 1,000, and let me just check the upgrades. We have race intake, oh, crap. We have race intake, we have our fuel system. We have our ignition system. We have our exhaust. The only the only question I have is, do we have, like, literally everything? Because I don't know if I was trying to fit this. Well, actually, it probably wasn't trying to fit it into a class because it's, like, it's nearing the top of S2 but not quite there yet. So I don't think I was trying to fit it into a class. Okay, so we're good on that. Now all we got to do is make sure that it's got race brakes, race suspension, and race... Um, basically race weight reduction. Um, oh God, we do not want rally suspension on this car. 100% no. So this thing makes 1,065 horsepower, 938 foot-pounds of torque, and weighs in at 3,104 pounds. So it definitely weighs more. It definitely weighs a decent bit more. The Lambo weighs a lot less. But we're going to take this thing straight to the runway, straight to the strip, see what kind of top speeds it'll lay down, and I'll do a couple of practice launches with it because I know for a fact that it's going to be a little tricky to get it off the line. The Lambo is probably going to be a little easier, actually, to get off the line, just in terms of the fact that the engine is not quite in the back, it's in the middle, um, but it's... it's 
the weight is towards the rear. You know, the weight is towards the rear, and it shouldn't shouldn't have that much of an issue getting off the line, even in rear, even with the rear wheel drive conversion, um, with uh, with the tire sizes we have on it. I don't remember what it is, but I know for a fact they're wide. Would you like to set a route to the next race event for you? No, I would not. He's gonna go straight off into the desert. Yes, he is. Okay, so. Got a head. There we go. Got a launch to go ahead and take care of. Let's see about launching. I'm gonna say like about 4,000 RPMs, clutch dump, and then ease out the throttle. I didn't hit full throttle until third, and then it hooked up. That's 180 miles an hour. Come on. That's 190. Where's 200? There's 200. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on! It runs out of gearing at 217 miles an hour. Runs completely out of gearing at 217 miles an hour. I feel like we could do... We could do more with longer gears for sure, um, but that's that's still a really, really respectable number. Let me run it back the other way one more time. Actually, no, you know what? Before I run it back the other way, let me mess with the gearing down here at this end of the runway. We'll run it back the other way. After we mess with the gearing, we'll see what it hits by the other end of the runway. I just wanted to have an average, like an idea um, of what changing the gear ratio in this car will do so because I know it's got the power to take advantage of it it's got more than enough power to take advantage of it let me see here um rear camber we can take that out for now that might actually help with the launch front would have set it in negative two uh let's see why am I messing with that why am I messing with the gearing all right let's make it like a 331 and see what happens They say 230.6. Now, what about a little longer? Two thirty one point eight. Okay, so it didn't gain much. So I'm assuming that's gonna be about what it's gonna top at. Easing it out of the hole. Oh, it hooks at the top of second gear now. That's good. Like full throttle the top of second gear, it'll hook. There's 200 at the top of fifth gear, and shift. Come on. Past his previous speed, there's 220, 221 at the end of the runway. Okay, so at the end of the runway, we hit 221, and oh my god, that is the flattest I've ever taken that jump. That was literally the most perfect I've ever taken that jump in, like, my entire career of playing Horizon 3. Like, <laughs> that is insane. Okay, so... Now it's time to grab the Lambo, and I'm very curious to see what the uh, the lighter weight mid-engine car is going to do versus the slightly heavier front-engine car, because I think, I don't know, I actually kind of think that the Viper has the Lambo beat already, because I feel like at the end of the day the power is going to win out, but I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to give the Lambo the benefit of the doubt, and we'll see what, uh, we'll see what it can put down, but... I don't quite think the Lambo, I don't think it has the power to pace this car. I, I don't think it has the power to pace this car, but it could surprise me. It really could. Where are we at? There we are, 917 and 627. The problem is the torque. This the, These cars just don't, this, these cars with these engines, they just don't have any torque. And that can be a bit of a problem because... You, when you're dealing with something like a Viper, it, it, they've got you on torque, no questions asked. God, these V10s, they sound so freaking good. Okay, so projected top speed with current gearing. Let's see, is 367. Projected top speed is 238.8. All right. Alright. 
Come on! There's 170, there's 180. This thing is gaining speed really fast. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, it's gonna beat it. Oh my god! 229.43 miles an hour. With a lot less power. This thing just absolutely decimated the Viper out here. The Viper had a little bit more power. I'm not going to say it was a, a huge amount, but it had a little bit more power. And, God, the lightweight actually did a lot more for this car than I thought it would. So let's mess with the gearing a little bit and see what we can make it hit by the other end of the runway. Before it... Let's, let's, do, let's do the same ratio, just for, like... You know, just for matching sake, let's do the same exact ratio. With the 311, it'll hit, it says it'll hit 251.1. It doesn't have enough room to hit that out here, but... That was perfect launch. That was a perfect... Dude, we had no wheel spin at all. That's legendary for a rear-wheel drive converted car. Like, that is insane. Already passing 200 miles an hour. Still in fifth. Like 232. Across the end of the runway at 232. That's fast. That's really fast. The car is gonna... Oh! Ugh. That just got... Yeah, that, that, that just got destroyed. But no, dude. Holy crap. That was... That was way faster than I thought it would be. I mean, it goes to show that at the end of the day, horsepower numbers really are not everything. I mean, and this thing, I think, also has more of an aerodynamic advantage over the Viper, um, just because of the body shape and things like that. But I think at the end of the day, it comes down to the lightweight, the lightweight, the shape of the car, and, and really, like, really, that's it. Like, the, the weight difference and the aerodynamic advantage of the Lamborghini, uh, it's just... Just a really, really, really surprising car. And it looks great. Like, that color, that gray, with those gold wheels is just so beautiful. I, I would not ever turn down that color combination on a Gallardo. Any Gallardo, really. But if you guys enjoyed this video in Forza Horizon 3, don't forget to leave me a like. Tell me in the comments down below what you all thought of it. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time. Talk to you all later.